So we'll hand it over to uh, reading all our fine sponsors. A big thank you to all our sponsors, as always. Seagro Restaurant, Island Lumber, Island Carpets, Joe Rapaki, CPA, Killen Real Estate, Congan and Coleman Insurance, Brock Insurance, Axe Screen and Window Repair, Santos Rubbish Removal, Nantucket Air, Nantucket Booster Club, Nantucket Civic League, Nantucket Electric, Humphreys Electric, The Box, Furry Friends of Nantucket, INM Island Pharmacy, Martin Burke Painting, At a Glance Window Treatments, Island Variety, David Goodman Tile, Cam Appliance, Rick's Paint and Maintenance, Madigan Marine, Nantucket Insurance, Lindsay Inc., Fairgrounds Restaurant, Harbor Fuel Oil Corporation, Don Allen Ford, and Sign Here. Okay, the kickoff, nice run back there. Dylan O'Connor, nice run back, Dick. Very nice. Dylan had a big run last week's game, and uh, that right here could be a big run in this game, giving Nantucket a good field position here. It was like a 61 yarder last week he ran. Hey, grab that team. So the Wheels get outstanding field position at their 38 yard line. Got a few stats from our friends over there on the radio side. Bill, uh, Upper Cape had nine rushes for 88 yards, but you remember 71 of those came in that one big burst there. Terrell Correa, big stat on the Nantucket side, four catches for uh, 53 yards. Up the middle at Hunter Gray. About a four yard game, Dick. Now you see what both coaching staffs uh, come up with at halftime. And as you said, it was a longer halftime here. A lot of the homecoming festivities. We thank, uh, we congratulate Dylan O'Connor and uh, Julia Newman, homecoming king and queen. And Dylan, Dylan Perry, Dylan Perry. I'll get, I'll, I'll get him, the two Dylan. Dylan Perry, homecoming king. Thank you, Dennis. Oh, it is Patrick. Trying to pass, run out of bounds. At about the upper Cape 40 yard line. And Dylan, uh, Dylan Perry follows his brother Cody, who was a uh, homecoming king uh, last year. Okay, here we go. First and 10 for the Whalers. First, uh, that was the big, uh, Nantucket's biggest running play of the day at the 42 yard line of Upper Cape. So basically now they're already in four down territory. Ball goes to the pass again. Sent the tackle. Oh, driven out of bounds. Big run, Dick. Yeah, making people miss there. That was all, uh, all to pass. As uh, looked like they're gonna have him at the line of scrimmage. And uh, so this is a new wrinkle there for Nantucket get the pass uh, involved in the uh, offense running the ball. And they're, they're going no huddle. Up the middle, Hunter Gray. Big gain. Oh! Whoa. 22, Hunter Gray. They're going to say he's down. The ball come out again at the end of that. They're going to say he's down. No fumble. And he's and down, down on about the 21-yard line. No turnovers yet today. Lantucket last week played in a game with eight turnovers. So uh, both teams playing very clean here right now. Okay, we got second and about six. Like the pass again, cutting it up. And he picks up about four or three. He had the pass uh, taking the offense into his hands right now. They're going no huddle. Really trying to uh, get the pace of the game up a notch here and it's paying off right now on this drive. Third and six balls on the 19. And there's a, a big loss. So again, no turnover, but a, another bad snap at an inter-pro time. I call the third and six. It was actually third and two. Now it's going to be like third and nine. 
A fourth and nine. Fourth and nine. It's a passing situation. Again, they're still going with the no, uh, no huddle offense. Let's watch Terrell Career. Terrell Career, this is the guy they've gone to. Four catches already for 53 yards. They haven't gone to him. I think he had all four of those catches in the first quarter, Dennis. They went to him one other time and the ball was knocked away oh, from him. Terrell, up, up, up. In, oh, knocked down. Ball was underthrown. Underthrown that time and again, upper cape. Uh, I think he just knocked it down, and that's what you're supposed to do in a fourth down situation. Yeah, he saved himself, what, about, it's about the five yard line, and it's where he saved himself a lot of yardage. Green Bay would have saved themselves a victory if they knocked the ball down and not try to intercept it in the end zone. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we got upper cape, weather in the storm here. Whalers lead, seven to six, third period. Upper cape needs to Big, uh, big drive there by up, I mean, the attacker took it all the way downfield, but the bad snap uh, hurt them. So Upper Cape takes over here on downs on the 25-yard line. All right, we got the double wing. Number 22 runs up and inside the tackle and uh, makes about five yards. Pretty good, on the pretty good game there. They've come out of that uh, tight backfield. And now going to an open backfield, but a pretty good gain there in first down. They're going to spot it for four, make yeah, it second a, and six. They use a double wing with motion. Again, they haven't. No, they did throw the ball, right? They threw One the ball time. at the end of the first half there. One, was it once or twice? And you can see upper cape strategy is to run the ball, run the clock. Yeah, it's making it a very quick game. Up, right up inside, nice job by the Whalers. Good play, stop. John Holgate there stops that one nicely. Yep. Dumont on the carry, but he picks up maybe a yard. Holgate, Third down and four. Keegan Bartlett came in at the end of that also. Now it's going to make it third and five. So uh, Upper Cape needs five here. They're going to have to give the ball back to the Whalers. Oh, quick handoff, first down. First time they've done wow. that today. Yeah, that kid was quick. Coming in motion, as you said, they're sending a guy in motion. That's the first time they've done that today, handing it to him. And uh, he was uh, he was probably one more breaking of a tackle away from uh, taking that a long way. Dylan Derby, number 22, is the ball carrier. So we got a first down for Upper Cape on the 44-yard line of Upper Cape. Right in front of us here as they uh, trying to get the ball across midfield, trailing by a point in this one. Going up inside. Going up the middle. Stop. <laughs> Remember, I'm Upper Cape coming into this game five in oh, undefeated. Good, good write up on them in the Globe last week. They're, they're on the bus. For you people that don't know what that means, it means the undefeated teams ride the Globe bus, and they're one of them. And Nantucket's trying to knock them off the bus here tonight, and they have the lead right now, seven to six. All right, we've got second down and eight. A lot of, a lot of passion in this game. Second down and eight. Look for Duma coming back across the field. And they give the ball going straight up the middle. Nice job. Pearl, Pearl in on that one. Coleman Valentino also on the stop. Brings up a big third down and six to go. Would like to mention with a uh, heavy heart, Jake Pearl playing today. We yep. pass on our condolences for his grandfather, uh, Charlie Pearl, who uh, passed away. And uh, Charlie was a uh, former teacher and a uh, proud uh, supporter of uh, Wheeler football. Number 21, do not. Drops the ball. I think Nantucket's got it. And here's the first turnover. 
21, had, it, had the first down, trying to make a little bit extra, and that's what happens when you try to make a little bit extra. And uh, right now, the, the coaching staff of Upper Cape are questioning it, but... Uh, no, uh, there's no replays uh, in high school. No challenge flags, Dick? No, no challenge, challenge flags. flags in high school football, no. So, ball first and 10 on the 28 of Nantucket. So let's see if Nantucket can answer now and get uh, the momentum back in their favor. Upper Cape sort of took it away from there a little bit. Carry on the short side of the field, cuts it up. Cuts it up. And that's the first time Dylan Perry's been able to turn that car and move it up the field. He picks up about 15, Dennis. Big gain for uh, Dylan. First and 10. A lot of, a lot of intensity in this game, Dick. Don't you think? Right now, both sides right, playing hard. Right now, both teams are playing very hard. And that's what you do in a one-point game. Tremendous crowd here watching the game tonight. Okay, we got a little confusion. Dylan O'Connor comes Patrick across the, the field. Yeah, Patrick the Pass talking to the coaching staff over there, <laughs> making sure they're on the same page with the play call. Dylan. Another fumble, let's see who's got this one. Nantucket has it. I'm pretty sure that was a fumble. At least the reaction of the players on the field looked like a fumble. We're not sure, but when Patrick that, that, hangs on to it after the play. That, he's had the ball on the ground about three or four times. And he, the wheelers have come up with it every single time. So of course it's a one yard gain, whether it was a fumble or not, we're not quite sure, but it's second and nine for the Whalers. Quick out, quick out. <laughs> Career carrying people. Looked like a scene from the uh, land of the Giants there as he was just carrying all the little people down <laughs> up the field. <laughs> So we got a third and four, Dick. Third and four at midfield. You don't make this four here, and then you got a uh, decision. I, th I think with a, in a one-point game, you got to punt it. <laughs> if you don't pick up a first down here. Carry in motion. Going to throw it. Down the depending. All right. Flag in the backfield. That could be holding. Career makes the catch, but the flag is in the vicinity of holding, Dennis. The George is calling him back. George is calling him back. I think, I think that's the first penalty of the day that I can remember. And it's gonna be a big one. Manchester's furious, but the flag was out there before the ball was in the air. As the move, teams move back upfield, we'll turn it over to Jules. Thanksgiving is just around the corner. Remember, Cowboys has you covered with Thanksgiving turkeys and prepared sides. Cowboys Meat Market, give a call to help fend off those Thanksgiving culinary disasters. All right, so a 10-yard penalty. And so instead of Nantucket having first down in their side of the field, it's going to be third and about 14 here, Dennis. Yep, third and 14. Manchester's questioning the call, but that flag was well out before the pass was thrown. Yeah, he's well on the field questioning the call. Okay, let's see what we got. Looks like a couple. Perry on the completion. That Depending might be a first spot. down. Depending on the spot. There was. So Nantucket answers right away. It picks up the first down. They got both, they got the momentum now in the offense, that's for sure. 107 left in the third period. 
Will is playing fast break football. Trying to pass up the middle. He makes about seven or eight. So right now the Nantucket offense is moving well. They changed the tempo, Dick. Picks up, picks up nine on it. Hunter Gray, Hunter Gray. And there's a first down for the Whalers. That first, first down brought to us by. Come on by Don Allen Ford for the Built Ford Tough event. Take a look at the 2012 F-150. F-150, America's best selling truck for 35 years. Come on by Don Allen. First and 10, Nantucket. Just fast pace. Offense going here. It's hard to uh, get over to our friend Jules over there. Ball rests on the 25 yard line. Oh! The incomplete pass. A little bit behind Dylan there. Uh, could have brought that one in, but it caught the shoulder pad. Once he catches the shoulder pad, it's hard to hang on to it. Yeah, you've got to be careful in that play in your backward pass. It's very close. It, uh, I agree with you, but Dylan was turning up field, and uh, so it became a forward pass. Second down and 10 from the 25. This, if this is not an incomplete pass, it could be the last play of the third quarter. Kick out. He came back right back with the same play, and that will end the third quarter. Yeah, we've got some way, uh, upper K player down. So we have played three quarters here at uh, Vito Capizzo Stadium. Nantucket clings to a 7-6 to six lead, but they are on the move now, having the ball down close to the 25. Go Whalers from Brock Insurance, wishing each and every student the best possible school year. Remember, you can join our family of fine sponsors by calling Gino TV at 508-825-8817. Get your ad mentioned during games and also get your phone number and logo showing 24 hours a day in the top right corner. Price as low as $15 per week and you can feel good knowing you're helping bring Whaler Sports to TV, online and now streaming live on Geno TV. Call 508-825-8817. Fairgrounds restaurants with 15 HD TVs to catch your favorite team, favorite sports every weekend. At 27 Fairgrounds, 508-228-4095. Fairgrounds restaurant and Pudley's Pub, Nantucket's favorite sports pub. Madikit Marine, licensed Yamaha sales and service and storage facilities. Boats, motors, cleaning, sales and service. Proud sponsor of Whaler Sports. Call 228-4527. Madikit Marine, over 40 years of dedicated service. Well, anytime you have a close game like this, Dennis, a lot of big plays. You know, you look back at, you know, right now, the biggest play is probably the extra point kick by Patrick DePass well, we, giving us, giving that, us the right? lead. And, you know, the second big play was the, the, the run by Upper Cape not to get the ball into the end zone there. It looked like they had the momentum, but uh, the Nantucket defense stood them up. Yeah, right. And uh, that's the difference. Right now, both teams have gone back and forth up the field. Upper Cape uh, had the ball in their territory and fumbled it away. Nantucket uh, gave it up on downs once, but now they get the ball back in here again. The uh, next score in this game could be big. Uh, Nantucket with Patrick's foot, uh, you got to think field goal. Uh, yeah, I was just thinking that, Dick. You know, possibility. Third and two. Ball's on the 16 yard line of Upper Cape. And the pass has got, Quarterback keeper, Brian, the, pass up the, got the first down. Appears to be enough for a first down. Yeah, the Nantucket offensive line is doing a good job right now with their forward push. They're giving enough push off the ball where Patrick can just fall in behind it. I mean, Brian, the pass can just fall in behind it and uh, pick up yards, and he does there. First down for the uh, Whalers. Looks like it's on about the 16-yard line. First and 10 from the 16.
And the pass again. Keeper again up the middle. Ryan to pass. So much oh, beat. Make the oh. tackle. Oh. Breaking tackles, breaking tackles here. Yeah. I think Upper Cape is making a mistake of trying to pull the ball out instead of pulling the pass onto the ground. That's right. I mean, he kept his feet going and got his pad level very low and was able to get almost to the goal line. So the ball is sp spotted on about the one. So Nantucket's going to have four cracks here from about the one yard line. A fumble. 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 <laughs> Woo -hoo. And again, the Whalers come up with it. Again, the ball goes on the ground, and again, the pass pulls it back into him. He's, he's got like a magnet there or something. Maybe he's got a magnet in Let's his Let's get a, yeah. a ball magnet. That's what I got to get, a ball magnet. So when, well, I that to, was a so when I go to Family Park, the ball will come right to me. All right, now the ball spotted on the, what, six-yard line? Yeah, that hurts because uh, now you're going to make a play. As before, all you had to do was do forward momentum into the end zone. Now you're going to come up with a play here. Perry, go, Perry on the outside. No. Man, they are hitting out there, Dick. So they strung him out that time and piled them right up. As I say, the, the previous time Perry did that play, he did break it upfield for 15 yards. But most of the day, most of the night, that's what's been happening on that play. Stringing they, it out and they bring him down at the corner. He got now, maybe a yard. Now you gotta figure they're gonna go back to their bread and butter. Well Terrell they gotta throw Correa. the ball in the end zone to, to uh I think it's Correa. Terrell. Terrell yeah. Correa. Yeah. Four catches uh for fifty three yards in the first first quarter. They haven't gone back to him since. What is oh, that? That was movement. That was weird, crazy movement. What the heck? I don't know if defense uh Defense might have came across. Ooh. It's not going to be an automatic first down one way or the other. But Neil Tucker's saying the defense came across. Yeah, they're right. Two and a half yard line. Third and two and a half for a touchdown. Upper Cape uh, is questioning it, but uh, 61 they did a good job actually. As soon as he felt the, the uh, man in his uh, zone, Coaches are giving Ian it to Smith, John. Ian Smith. Ian Smith. Right, the defense cannot make, the defensive line cannot make the offensive line move, and that's what they did there. Ian Smith did a good job there while I get the penalty. Third and two and a half. Jeez, this is. I mean, that is. Could be a delay of game here. The pass coming up. Keeper, Brian, the pass. Touchdown. It runs into the end zone for the Whalers. Two yard run by uh, the pass. And they take a 13 to 6 lead with 8.06 remaining in the game. Hey, kick return, get ready. Let's go. So he did the job there. So Brian has a rushing touchdown, passing touchdown, and one extra point kick. And this one here is all important. It's a big one. And he fumbled it. He throws it. Oh. <laughs> Try to make something out of nothing. I know it. Yeah. So, so it keeps it a seven point uh, game. So that could be very important here now. They're talking to be kicking off to Upper Cape. Now, Joe Rapaki, CPA, small firm, big difference. Helping self-employed people on Nantucket with their taxes for over 15 years. Call 228-9090, Joe Rapaki. Santos Rubbish Removal, go Whalers. We clean up the island. The Enquirer and Mirror, Nantucket's newspaper since 1821. Stay up to date with all your favorite players and Whaler sports teams, www.ac.net, on newsstands every Thursday. Okay, a big extra point miss there for uh, Nantucket and Upper Cape. So Upper Cape can look at the scoreboard and say, 
Eight points and they win. Touchdown, extra point, we take the lead. You always, Dick, on the road, you always play for the win, right? You do, and they haven't shown any type of kicking game, so you know they're going to be going for the two no matter what. It's always nice as a defensive player and as a defensive coach to look at the scoreboard and know that the other team, if they score, they can't take the lead. That always gives you a good feeling. It means they got to score twice, but now that feeling is taken away by that uh, bad snap. And the ball hits the ground. Oh, what a run back. Big run back there, checking no flags. So they kicked it short. You don't expect the short guy, in this case, uh, number 27, Isaac, to have that much speed. Usually the short guys uh, don't have that type of speed. Yeah, number 22, I've noticed him. He's quick. That's Dylan Derby. Going right up the middle. Yeah, this is getting exciting. No, that was 27, Dennis. Isaac. Uh, 27? Isaac Cadoza. Oh, okay. He's got quick. He was, that's what I'm saying, yeah. usually the up guy doesn't have that type of speed, you know, expect, expect the speed to be in the deep backs, the up guys is expected to be the blocking guys. Well, we got a whistle. So with uh, 7.59 to go, a lot of time, the Nantucket takes a timeout on the field. This is your game. Island Lumber at One Pulpus Road, go Whalers, rain or shine, Island Lumber is always on time. Furry Friends of Nantucket, we care for your furry friends with passion, pet sitting, and care. 508-332-9198. Madiket Marine for Yamaha Sales and Service. Stop by 20 North Cambridge Street or give a call. 228-1163, Madiket Marine. Harbor Fuel Oil Corporation, over 35 years of dependable service, available 24 hours a day at 228-2411. We're all checking out 50-50. Didn't, we didn't get it though, huh? Let's, I, was, I was three away. Wow. Let's, hope, uh, let's hope they have to draw another one. Don't throw your tickets away yet. Uh, oh, really? yeah. our, our, our old friend Blue Hills, uh, Vincent Burton, has had a big weekend. He came into the weekend leading division. We'll talk about it after this play. All right, we're going to sweep. Good job. Oh. Missed tackles. Oh. Missed tackle on the backfield, Dennis. They had him for a five yard loss. There's your 21, Dennis. 21, yeah. There's a Dumont with a big run. Huge hit by Brian to pass on the sideline. On the sideline, but they, Nantucket had him right in front of us here in the backfield for a five-yard loss. And uh, don't get him. Vincent Burrett in Blue Hills, we saw him earlier this year. Coming into the weekend, he had a 136 points. The closest one to him was Devin Pratt from Shawshank with 120. Burton scored five touchdowns, two extra points. He now has 170 points for the year. Okay, they're going to their full house backfield. Number 44 gets the carry. Flag at the end of it. Mm -hmm. That William flag. Keneally got the carry. That flag come in near the face mask area. Ooh, that would be bad. Personal foul, face mask from the yeah. spot deck. Yeah. That's a big penalty. That's going to be half the distance. That's going to be another first down, I think. Call is a face mask against Nantucket. Bad mistake by the Whalers. Yeah. Tough penalty to take there. You know, you're trying to bring the guy down, and you get your hand on the mask. Sometimes it's just a five yarder, but I don't. Okay, here we go. First and goal. So they're gonna have a they're gonna have four plays from the eight, Dennis. Number 22 up the middle. Good job. They have to score. Picks 45, up, Coleman on the stop for the Whalers. Picks up about two or three, so it's going to bring second and about six. Number 21 back in the game, Dumont. He's their big rusher. I'm trying to listen to see who won the 50-50. Dennis something. I, I thought they might have said Dennis uh, 
Egan. They didn't say Dennis Karen. I know that. Oh, I got me He's standing again. right next to he'd, he'd be jumping up and down. He wouldn't be standing that calm next to me. Somebody by the name of Dennis. There's the outside pitch, the sweep. Down to about the two. So they're going to have two more cracks from about the two. It's inside the two, Dennis, so it's about the one and three quarter yard line, if you want to call it that. Third and goal for the Rams of Upper Cape, their second year as a varsity program. They used to play with the Bond School. Number 44 is in. Keneally scores for the so, uh, Upper Cape. 44, big hole there, gets in. Someone that hasn't carried the ball that much today, especially in the second half. And now we got the all-important extra point yeah. try. Talk about a really big extra point now, right? Wow. A lot of pressure, a lot of, a lot of on riding on this extra point. Well, the last time they did it, they ran a play similar to that touchdown run, which was similar to their first touchdown. Okay, here we go. Look at them go left, Dick. They're going to go left. Oh. Uh, Dumont's in. He gets in. Again, they had a shot at him in the backfield. Up they couldn't, they couldn't bring him down. The momentum this time carries him in. Last time it looked like it was going to carry him in. This time it does. How much I can't see. How much time left there? 6.07. So plenty of time. Time is not a factor yet. Right now you got to regroup over there. And a minute ago, when Nantucket had the ball down here, we talked about field goal. Right now, Nantucket has a kicker. They're only down by a point. So that really has to be part of their offense now. You got to start thinking like a pro team. We don't have to get it into the end zone. We only have to get it close, close to the end zone. I don't know what the pass's uh, distance is, but I'm saying they get it to the 20, and it's fourth down from the 20. That has to be an option. Well, we are, you, you, you have to wonder whether how much they practice it. Or well, that's it, how much you practice it. All right, we have a big kickoff. Kickoff brought to us by... Island Pharmacy with four registered pharmacists and a registered nurse on staff. No waiting for your prescription okay, refills. Here we go. Call ahead, 228-6416. We'll have it waiting for you when you arrive. 122 Pleasant Street, Island Pharmacy. Okay, here we go, Dick. Big kickoff. The pass in. Oh, it's on the ground, it's on the ground. It's on the ground. And that turned into a lot of trouble there for the Whalers. Dylan O'Connor falls on it on the 25 yard line. Dylan did a great job to fall on that because that ball was going nowhere fast and Upper Cape had two kids zeroing in on it. One more bounce and that could have been a disaster for the Whalers. It's an onside kick, Gino. It only has to go 10 yards. Right. On a punt, you, can't, you couldn't get it, but on a kickoff, it's a live ball once it goes 10 yards. Okay, 6.06 left, the Whalers take over, first and 10 at the 25 yard line. What a game. And the pass, rolling uh, left, and he's going to get hit. Goes for a big loss. The big guy stayed right with him, Dennis. Big interior lineman stayed right with uh, Brian to pass, foot for foot. And uh, as Brian tried to turn and cut it back, he was right to get a golf him up for a five-yard loss. You can't ask for more from your defensive lineman than that play. Second down and 15. And the Whalers are not in foreground four territory. No, they, uh, they, they need to get the, uh, a couple of first downs or get the ball back to the Rams. And the Rams, we know, can uh, run the clock. This is probably going to be a pass. Up the middle, Hunter Gray. Hunter Gray on his feet, and he's brought down. Nice hole, nice call by the Whaler coaching staff. Again, I saw a lot of movement on that line of scrimmage. I don't know what the, uh, the line judge is looking at there. We got a third down and about six, Dick. 
You don't want to get a movement penalty here. They've called one in this game. Now the clock is starting to become a factor. Under five minutes, Dennis. 444. 47 round of running. And Nantucket takes a lot of time to get these plays called sometimes, so they could be their own worst enemy right now. They're gonna throw. Did he have it? In and out of his hands. Was it a fumble? Did they say it's a fumble? He either had it or he fumbled it. He fumbled, they say he had it. Boy, I'd like to see that one again on instant replay because I'm not sure he had it. Oh, yeah, the, I, think he, sure? I think he caught it and made yeah, okay. a football move. Okay. Yeah. We're not gonna we're not gonna take a look at it unless Gino wants to run it back, but he's not gonna run it back now. Huge we'll, play go, we'll, go, we'll go back to the office later. Huge we'll have, play we'll have, for we'll, have, we'll have a nice can of Coke and we'll look it over. On you, <laughs> you're watching this on Gino TV and they can, they can play with it there and watch it. Gino TV, right, you're watching, you can go to the internet, GinoTV.com. Now, Neotucket's gonna have to use your timeouts because now Upper Cape is not gonna throw the ball. No. They're gonna run the ball, so Neotucket's gonna have to start using their timeouts, which I believe they have all of them left. It's 424, they, I think they took one deck. All right, 424. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. 33-yard line. At the 44. Oh, no, come on. Stay out, stay out. The only good thing about that play is I think they knocked him out of bounds. 44, Liam Kinley. Kinley, rather. And that's going to be a first down carry, Dad. And as I say, the only good thing on that play for the wheel is they couldn't tackle him is that they knocked him out of bounds to get the clock stopped. But now it's 4-12. And ball is sitting there right on the uh, 20. And what do we got? We got a timeout. Conversation with the refs. They're talking, that's dangerous when you get four referees together yeah, in the middle of a football yeah. field talking Four's something nice. over. What did you see, Dick? What did you see, <laughs> I don't know. This is real dangerous. Especially with Josh, has got the white hat on, so he's got the lead in there. All right, they break it up. They report to Manchester. They don't report to Upper Cape, so maybe our coach Manchester had a question on it. Anyways, it's first in 10 from the 22. Upper Cape is probably two first downs away from ice in this game, Dennis. Up the middle. Number 44, Keneally seems to be getting a lot of carries. Okay, Nantucket opts not to use their timeout. They're going to have to start using them after this, though. And Upper Cape is not in a hurry right now. The, the coach wisely uses a substitution there, which just calms the, the atmosphere down and uh, slow down, slows down the play call. Sometimes you ask your team to slow it down. They can't do it on their own. So the coach makes a good move there. Gets a kid in, so it slows it down automatically. Okay, here we go. The full house backfield. What outside pitch? Keneally. Oh. That's the ball game. No flags. That's the ball game. Jonathan Dumont did it again. Took it in from 22 uh, yards out, and that will do it. That's his second touchdown of the game. 3.12 left. Okay, I well, okay, I take that back. Let's see what this extra point is. They're, still, they get the they're extra only down points, by yeah. seven. Yeah. All right, I'm 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 mistaken. I, I'm mistaken on that. The uh, if they get the extra two point at conversion. If they get a two point conversion, they, 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 that would ice it, yeah. Gino. So we have one more play to go in. Timeout on the field. 
Congdon and Coleman Insurance, specializing in personal and commercial lines of insurance. Richard James and William Congdon are waiting for you at 57 Main Street, Nantucket. Give a call at 228-0344. So uh, the tackling hurt him on that one, Dennis. 3-12 to go. Uh, I literally said that ice the game. The icing is not the end. The, the spread right now is seven points. So let's go over that. Seven points. If Nantucket stops this extra point, then they can come back with a touchdown and, and a kick to tie it or a touchdown and a two-point to win it. If Upper Cape gets it here, then it becomes a nine-point two-possession game, which would be the icing unless much. Nantucket can score very quickly right. and get the ball back. Right. Still right. timeout on the field. Turn it back to Jules. After 20 years, we're not going anywhere except Hyannis. Nantucket Airlines, we're all about this island. 800-635-8787, nantucketairlines.com. Well, it's amazing how uh, the extra points are playing big in this game, and here we have another one right Can now. you say that right off the top? Good call. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We got a balloon on the field, Dick. It, it's still... The, those Rams out there, they're throwing the balloons on the field. All right. Nice block, man. You got in. You got in. Oh. There it is. Tough, tough one there. Dumas, they made, a hard runner, boy. They made the tackle at the uh, goal line, but again, the momentum carried them in. And uh, the only extra point they missed today I thought the momentum carried them in. They didn't get the call on that one, but they got the call here, which is probably the most important call of the game. Now, Nantucket has to not only score, they got to get the ball back a second time. Yeah. Right. And, you know, if, you, if, if, if we talked about the field goal. If, if you're a pro team, the pro team knows they got to score twice. So they, get so they, the they, would, they, they wouldn't matter if they got the field goal first, and then they go for the onside kick and get the ball back. A high school team really doesn't think that way, but we, we know what the, the pass has done on kickoffs before. If he can run one back here, that would change the whole complexion of the game. Last time the kickoff, they didn't kick it deep to no, him. I don't think they'll, they'll probably kick the ball on the ground, Dick. Almost, almost like an onside kick, which yeah. they almost did last time and recovered. All right. Remember, Dennis, we got to still go for our three stars of the day on the yep. Whaler side. Okay. Well, they kick it deep to Perry. Perry's on the outside. Perry can move. Down the sideline, knocked out of bounds. Good run. Come on, guys. Great run back by uh, Dylan Perry, the homecoming king, and uh, gives Nantucket a little life. 3.04 to go, but again, it's a two possession game. That means Nantucket's got to score, get the ball back, and score again. I, I wonder why they kicked it deep, Deck. I like, the, like, like what they did last time. I love what they did last time. It, it avoided the, uh, the run back, it gave him a chance to uh, game, game, Almost gave him a chance to get the ball, right? Yeah. All right, well, the Whalers have the ball in outstanding field position. But they got to throw it. They the only time, throw he, it. only time you're going to see a run is if uh, Brian DePass breaks the pocket. And they're going to go. Ball hit the ground. Ball hit the ground. Second down. Yeah. If that was a backward pass, you could pick it up and go. Yeah. But it was a forward pass. A forward pass got to be caught before it hits the uh, ground. Okay, now we got a second down. And reverse, reverse, trip wide open, number 80. Oh! oh <laughs> Dennis, that was out of your old playbook there. A double reverse pass, and the guy was wide open. That's Terrell. what used to happen when I ran it. <laughs> oh, tremendous. Well, right. you, Third down, Dick. When you ran it, didn't you send the right guard down the field? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was eligible, too, He right? was eligible. All right, we got third down. 
And the pass rolls to his right. Looking deep, gonna run it, gonna run it. Oh, that was so a smart back move. Left. Get out of bounds. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, he, looking for something out of nothing there, and uh, he, he just run out of bounds. He should have run out of bounds. You're right, Gino. You know. He probably lost a little bit. Well, so it's, fourth, it's, it's tough, Dick. You have to. You just, you know, they're, they're looking for the long pass. If that pass is held on a double reverse, a uh, whole new right outlook. Back, down the sideline, the pass looking. Looking, 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 looking wide open. Hunter! Hunt. Oh. Victor Boucher! Hunter. Victor Boucher! Oh my gosh! He's going to be a first down for Matt Parker! Victor, okay, I thought oh it was Hunter. Gosh. Victor Boucher! How can you leave a guy open, Dick? You, you, you're just saying they know they got to throw long, and there's Victor Boucher all alone down there. And, uh, Great piece of catching out there by number 32. Brian DePass found them. Boy, he, hit him. he heaved that ball up there as, as oh, hard as he could. Come on. The pass going to run, going to run. He's well, in, he's in. They're going to say he bounced him out. So he stops the clock. Good. Good. The it's clock good. is becoming a fact. They're now 144 to go. They got to score. They need to score right away. They need and to score now. Score and get the uh, onside kick to work. That's the game plan. Upper Cape will take the time and let them uh, use all four downs, but Nantucket can't. They got to get the uh, first down, a touchdown on the first down here. Hunter Gray up the middle. Oh, get down. He had just wasted I mean, time now. I mean, it's just he had just wasted time now. Got to stop the clock. They don't have any timeouts? Yeah, they got timeouts. Got to call time a timeout. And Nantucket's got to take a timeout. It's fourth yeah. down. They lost. They lost about eight seconds, though. I thought it was a first down. I thought they made a first oh, okay. down. First down. Okay. The clock ran a little bit. They're asking. They're asking for more time back on the clock. It's third down. If they got a timeout, they don't have to worry about it. Quarterback sneak. Quarterback sneak here, right. Uh, uh, move, movement. Move. Oh, yeah, there they go. Oh, that's gonna that's that's brutal. Too many people moving before the ball came out there. That really hurts when you're on the uh, goal line. So they're gonna they're gonna move it back. The clock did not move on that play. No, there was the play was called dead. Time out on the field. So we got a uh, come on by third 24 Pulpus Road. Visit Don Allen Ford to see their full selection of brand new Ford and Mercury vehicles or their wide array of used pre-owned vehicles. There we go. That's what we needed, Dennis. Okay. Wow, what a game. Big run there by uh, Hunter, and he gets it in. Now the extra point pretty much is immaterial right now. Oh no, you'd like no. to get the one, I guess, right? Okay, I, I take that take back again. One. Get the one, make it a two-point game, then a field goal can win it. So, the, the uh, problem, Dennis, is that Upper Cape, if you remember reading that article in the Global Money, Upper Cape has played a bunch of games like this all year, yeah, where right. they, no matter who the foe is, the game is close at the end. You know, they had a close game with everybody on their schedule, weak falls in, so they used to be in a situation here. All right, this is a big, now the Whalers are Super Bowl defending champions. This, 
If they lose, this could be devastating this, for their season. Yeah, one loss in this league is not good when you only play five games. So a big extra point here makes it a two-point game. Kick is down, and I don't believe it. No, no good. Oh, no good. dear. You missed it. So now a field goal can't win it, but a field goal can force overtime. Yeah. So they're still going to do the onside kick, naturally. Mm -hmm. Touchdown wins it. Potential field goal ties it 22 to 19. Not the type of score that you normally see in high school football, 22 no, not 19. At all. This has been an out, uh, probably one of the best games we've ever done for action. Give a boost. Nantucket Athletic Boosters Club is always looking for new members. Meeting every Tuesday, 7 o'clock in Cyrus Pierce, room 20. Support the boys and girls. Boys and girls in blue with the Nantucket Athletic Boosters Club. Cowboys Meat Market, Nantucket's only full service butcher shop and deli. Give a call at 228 8766 or stop by 7 Bay Berry Court. And remember, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. Prepared sides and Thanksgiving turkey is available. Pudley's Pub and Fairgrounds Restaurant, Nantucket's favorite sports bar, 15 HD screens to catch your teams and favorite games every weekend. All right, so we know it's an onside kick. Upper Cape's got 10 guys up, only five on the uh, 50. Remember the uh, ball has to go 10 yards to be a free ball. Now, if I were Brian to pass, I'd try to kick it beyond the I would kick it line. like 15 yards, get it right over that first line there. This is big, this is big, folks. It's touched, it's touched. It's a free ball, it's touched. We got it. Oh! <laughs> Terrell Career, I believe, kicked it off. The ball went to 10 yards, so number four had to try to field it, and he doesn't field it. Whether he tried or not tried, it was still a free ball. So number four jumped up, lost the handle on it. 110 left in the game. A ton of time. A ton of time from the position you are in the field. And they're just trying to tie it. Well, a well, touchdown well, wins it. Touchdown wins it. Well, that's true, but I mean, they field goal will tie it. Field goal will tie. Touchdown will win it. <laughs> All right, everything going right, right for the Whalers right now. Plenty of time left. Nice play, Greg. Oh, wow, Handoff nice. in the backfield, and it goes nowhere. The clock is running. Didn't call a timeout, they so they got to hurry. They didn't call a timeout. Dick, why would they run a running play then? Just to try to fool them, I guess, but it, it didn't. If you call a running play, I, I would assume you would have had the timeout in your back pocket, and you didn't. Wait, look like. Yes! Oh. Yes! And now, now they need a timeout. 25, blitz. Number 12 came flying in there. He's hurt, but he got on uh, to pass his back. And the Nantucket had a call time out there, not only to stop the clock, but just to regroup. The pass goes over and talks to the uh, coaching staff. All right, it's third down, third down, and uh, about 15 yards. But now, you know, they went from 110 to 33, Dennis, in two plays. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, 20, what? 27, 37 seconds to run two plays. Not what you want out of a fast-paced offense. Now they're gonna go, have to go deep. Right now, uh, Upper Cape should have a guy 25 yards downfield. Give him 20 yards. Green over the middle. Oh, what a tackle. What a tackle. And the clock runs. That was a tremendous tackle because Oh, it's fourth down. Dylan fourth down. Perry, Dylan Perry had he, lots of room to run if that linebacker doesn't come across. He scraped across, tackled Dylan from the side. Another timeout on the field. 24 seconds left. Matt Marine with over 40 years of service. 
wow. boat sales, service, and storage available. 20 North Cambridge Street in Madiket. Give a call, 228-1163, Madiket Marine. All right, Dennis, what do you come up with here? Well, I mean, I mean are you hooking ladder, Dick? That, hooking ladder is a good selection. Play. What, I wouldn't try to throw the ball down the field. I know you need a touchdown. There's 24 seconds try, left. You try to probably get in the field goal range. I think, I think you got to uh, think field goal here. You, get, you gotta, well, First of all, you got to pick up seven yards unless the game's over. Oh, yeah, the you game's over. you got to get the first down. Yeah, right, that's, but that's you, true. You, you know, do you have a sideline play to get out of bounds? Or if you throw it in the middle of the field, you know, you, you call the timeout right away. They have not thrown a quick out all day. That, that might, seven yard quick out, you get a first down, and he can move after that. Right now, the. Uh, all right, we got. Uh, the Upper Cape coaches are yelling at George. I think it's about the amount of timeouts. I'm not sure. All Here right. we go, folks. This is it. The pass. Nice play. Yes. That's it. They sacked him. Didn't get the play off. The clock is still running. They don't even have to run a play. Well, actually, the clock should stop. The, the clock shouldn't be running. The clock stops. The, 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 the clock is out. It's gone. It's, it's, I think you're supposed to, well, it's only immaterial, but you're supposed to stop the clock no, wait, 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 on a wait, change of possession. The officials you, got the yeah, you, you, the clock stops. The clock stops on the change of downs. So right. They they should put approximately 11 to 12 seconds back on the clock. Well, as they s all right, we'll see what they put on the clock. As they well, get that, as they get that figured out, seconds. I'm going to give you my three stars. Number three, I'm going with uh, a lineman. Number 61, Ian Smith. Number two, the big end, Terrell Correa. And my number one star goes to uh, Brian DePaz. All right. My number three goes to Jonathan Holgate. My number two goes to Brian DePaz. And my number one goes to Terrell Career. Okay. There it is. So they set the clock. Again, I don't know why they turned it on. I thought you had to run a play to turn it on. But they, uh, they, they set the clock at, I don't know how many seconds, but then... Uh, Upper Cape didn't run a play. Now there's six seconds still on the clock. <laughs> now it's, the clock is ticking away. Okay. Anyways, Upper Cape in his second year of uh, varsity football, Dennis, pulls an amazing upset when you think about it. I know they come into this game five and all, but this here is a big, big upset. Nantucket, a, a veteran team, a, uh, a Super Bowl defending champion to uh, Lose to a young program here on their own field is a big, big upset. Big, big win for uh, the Upper Cape Rams. Wow. I, all I can say is that of all the games that we've done over the years, Dick, this is probably one of the best. One of the best. You know, it's kind of funny. We mentioned the extra points were important at the beginning, and they turned out to be very important here today. And uh, each team had three touchdowns. But Upper Cape had uh, two extra points. The extra two points for, for that uh, that did it for them. So we'll be right back here next week, and we're going to have another tough opponent here coming in next week for the uh, Nantucket. Again, one loss doesn't put you out of the running, but it makes it a lot harder. So Nantucket has their work cut out for them, but uh, they're going to regroup, and they'll be back. They'll be back here next Saturday night. So we thank. Uh, Jules Emery Pellerine for doing the ads. Gino Gang on camera. Dennis Karen Collins today's tonight's game. This is Dick Herman for Gino 99 TV. Remember to put a smile on your face each and every day, even if you have to laugh at yourself. Go Patriots! Beat the Jets for goodness sakes. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>